what you're having up. Oh my god. Good morning. You're joining us from Segovia. Yesterday we rode 500 kilometers from Cordoba to Segovia, motorway all the way. We didn't record it because actually it was the second time in as many months that I'd done that road. It's the same road that I rode when I was going up to France on Rina's way. But today we're in Segovia. We stayed here last night and we're going down to check out the Apata, which is a must see apparently. Look at the at the moon. You can't see it in camera, but look at the moon in between the two towers. Oh yeah, that's very nice here. And the that looks like vultures, I think. Do you feel more Catholic now for you? Very much so. Bring Catholic, 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 Catholic. Coffee is needed. It's the scientist inspecting all her forebrains. I like your style, Marina. <laughs> The Alcazar of Segovia, from where in 1474 Isabella I became Queen of Castile and Leon, thereby with her husband Ferdinand II, King of Aragon, unifying Christian Spain for the first time under one rule, a joint rule, the motto over the two thrones, tanto monta, monta tanto, as much one as the other. This, more than anywhere, is the birthplace of Spain, unified and Catholic, the first modern European empire. And yet, the legacy of medieval Spain persists in the interior mudejar styling and retired weapons of war, not just from its pre-nation days, but as the HQ for the Royal College of Artillery, from its 19th century War of Independence days too. Yeah, he seems very, very chill about the whole thing. <laughs> I look like I just set out of the office. Like... <laughs> also, let's, let's appreciate those eyebrows. What about these ones here? Well, he, he's so unimpressed. So unimpressed. He thought eyebrows in the 2000s were bad. <laughs> look at this one. Yeah, this is the crest or shite, I suppose. I don't know. I don't she care. doesn't get paid enough. <laughs> I feel like we should, you should edit this with the with Disney arch on top. <laughs> this is the unglamorous side of motorbike travel is having to change at the side of the street. <laughs> All right, the bike is fully loaded. That was the El Cathar. Definitely worth it, I would say, for six quid. We spent a good two hours in there, at least. And now the plan is to uh, head northeast. Not exactly sure where. It's just gone one o'clock, um, but we're not going to stop for lunch just yet because we need to get on the road and get some miles done before it gets too hot. Alrighty. It's already hot. Okay. We shall. Oh, good there. Okay. Just on my. Okay. Onwards. Oh. Toasty. It's toasty indeed.
Oh, I almost forgot. The other minor landmark of Segovia, the iconic Roman aqueduct, proudly spanning the valley for two millennia. So lunch for two, huh? <laughs> Four. <laughs> they eat a lot here, probably because there isn't much else to do. Rural depopulation plagues this region, as it does many parts of Spain. Endless burnt pastures stretching out as far as the eye can see, seemingly sterilized under the relentless August sun. In the winter, however, this same landscape is occasionally snow-covered. That probably explains the hardy diet. By late afternoon, we reach Colonia Clunia, a Roman town. Aside from the mosaics, concerningly uncovered from the sunlight, there isn't much to see for the casual observer. It costs five euro to enter the site, and that, combined with the heat, subdued my usual enthusiasm for piles of stones. If you want Romans, Estremadura and Andalucía is the place to be. So, we continued our way towards La Rioja. <laughs> I just stopped in a roadside bar uh, to get some coffee to get us through the last 150 kilometers and walked down the places full of men, old men playing their cards on a Sunday afternoon. Very civilized, very civilized. <laughs> We've finished up for the day. We have reached our destination in the middle of the Rioja country, as you can tell by all the bottles of wine on top of the bar there. Um, the ride was good, very very chilled out, not too bad. Uh, we've just had a, a little bite because we're not hungry after that massive lunch that we had. Uh, we only got for, we only got two dishes and uh, it was a lot of food. It was very affordable. The table next to us and a few other tables were eating. Uh, the speciality of the region, not the region we're in at the moment, but the region of where we work, around Segovia, uh, piglets, poor little baby piglets. 
they've only ever drunk their mother's milk. It's not what the thing is. So that it's just apparently so tender and falling off the board. Anyway, you can you know discuss the moral and ethical implications of that uh, in, over your own family dinner. So I won't go into it now. Uh, I've just finished eating what I suspect is a pig's ear. Um, I'm not crazy about the cartilage. Um, but the rest of it was grand, and we're having some lovely, lovely wine. So uh, we're gonna, we're actually gonna be here for a few days. Um, so I think we will manage to make a video um, of the stuff that we get up to while we're here in, in the Rioja region. We're sort of on a, a work holiday, a, a work, a work, work holiday. Um, so we're working until the afternoon, and then we'll, we'll take the afternoon to you know, just do a few things around the place and um, yeah, we'll see what comes out of it. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed the Alcantar, especially I was very impressed with that, I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy the Alcantar? Nice. Uh, did you, did you enjoy the Roman town? The Roman town? Yeah. I like the mosaics. The mosaics were nice, I wasn't in the best of form, so I wasn't too bothered and honestly, these towns, you know, they're just a bunch of stones, so... At the end of the day, it's what you read into it. Uh, anyway, we'll see you very soon with the with the next video. Take it easy.